<sighs> oh my god. Oh, the last time I did this much running was when I walked in 5K marathon and then I saw an ice cream truck go by. <sighs> Weirdly though, I'm not thirsty. Are you thirsty? Can you please stop talking? I can't stop talking when I'm scared because if I stop talking, I start hearing things. And when I start hearing things, I get scared again. Oh, you're scared. Yes, I'm the one at risk of getting hurt, remember? Did you even listen to me? Run! Stop asking your questions. Jump. Huh? Jump. <laughs> Dreams. We all have them. But have you ever wondered what they really are? Science still can't tell us what they mean. Are they the reimaginings of our day? A collage of our thoughts and memories? or perhaps our true desires and subconscious wishes? The answer doesn't matter, as long as they're good dreams that help you be a better you. Here at Dream Big, we are dedicated to making sure you not only experience good dreams, but also wake up feeling rejuvenated. You're probably thinking, is that even possible to wake up feeling refreshed? Yes, it is possible. And today we're gonna show you an easy guide on how we operate and achieve our snooze don't lose results. This is Kevin. Kevin has been having trouble sleeping because of a bad dream. Waking up in the middle of the night, frightened, disturbed, and sometimes a little wet down there as he describes it. But thanks to the progress in the field of neurological science and technology, we are able to help Kevin. How? It's a process called dream diving. Let's go behind the scenes to show you how we do it. I'm standing in what is called the sensor space, where we recreate the environment that you, the dreamer, is experiencing. Then using special dream gear, our dream divers are able to digitally impose themselves inside your dreams. That's right, it's that easy. But how is this possible, you may be asking? Well, that's all thanks to the hypnose. Hypnose is our patented, highly sophisticated piece of technology that lets us make dream diving a reality. Would you like to see what it looks like? There it was. Did you see it? Wasn't that exciting? After giving our patient a sleeping pill, we let our dream guides initiate the dream sequence. Dream sequence initiated. A few interconnected brainwaves later, and we're ready to go. Let's dream dive, shall we? Right now, fight Kem's demons. And uh, let me tell you, he's had a lot of them. Whoa. Okay, can someone get me out of here? This is getting a little bit too much. Oh my God. What the hell is that thing? No, 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 no. If dream therapy is not what you're looking for, we also provide custom made dreams that'll satisfy your every desire. Ever dreamt of being the president? How about an astronaut? How about an astronaut president of Mars like Elon Musk? Does that sound good or what? Come on in for a free consultation, and remember, don't dream small, dream big. Sophia, Roche, Russo, they're ready for your evaluation. Thank you. Dream. We all have them, but if you ever wonder what they really are, science still can't tell us what they mean. 
Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Just finished up with a patient who's been dreaming about an embarrassing moment in middle school. If I have a dollar. That's all right. Did you come with a referral? No, I found your business card in my house. Don't really remember why I had it. It's my first time in a place like this. All right. Let's see here. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Okay, there you are. 25 years old, trouble sleeping. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, yeah. This is a classic case of quarter life crisis. Been there myself recently. It's an easy fix though. We go inside your dream, convince you that everything is fine. You got a lot to live for. Love, careers, passions, friends. Ooh, the Spice Girls come back to her? I mean, if that's not something to look forward to, I, I don't know what is. What I'm trying to say is we can help you be a better you. Sorry, I actually hate saying that line, but I'm obligated to. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm in the right place. I should go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, wait a minute. Let's start over, okay? I'm Michael. Hi. Tell me about the nightmare you've been having. How do you know I've been having one? Bags under the eyes, you've been biting your nails, and I'm sorry, but that hair is a mess. I'd say you haven't been sleeping well for a couple of days now. Um, a month, actually. It's gotten so bad that my boss told me that if I don't sort this out, they'll have to let me go. So, Sophia, tell me what you dream about. All right, people, settle down. Settle down. I'm excited to announce that we are less than a week away from the official launch of Dreamy. Our very own Dreambox. It will not only change the game, it will change the rules. The design is sleek, simple, non-threatening. We're going for a broader spectrum here. We're targeting everyone. Kids, teens, adults, seniors, China. People who are still being in Antarctica for some reason. It would be a godsend for them to dream about something other than penguins and seals, don't you think? <laughs> The basic package includes three dreams, three genres, and eight languages for now. Now I know what you're thinking. How do we distinguish ourselves from the big companies? Or should I say, the conglomerates, which is what they are. They don't care about new ideas, originality, or even the content itself. They go for the cookie cutter approach and pump out boring, uninspired dreams at the speed of a 13-year-old boy trying to break his own masturbation record. And what are we? I'm about to tell you what we are. We are that wholesome mom and pop shop that takes care of you, that understands you, that doesn't treat you like an idiot. We're not just selling a dream. We are selling a feeling, a feeling that holds you together as you wake up and face the harsh realities of life. A feeling of happiness. And that might cost a little bit extra, but people will see that it's worth it. Because can you really put a price on your new happy place? Thank you. The basic package is $79.99. Now I'm gonna hand the reins over to Nathan Nowicki, our head product developer, to Discuss some of the Texan specs, as I call them. Take it away, Nathan. Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Now, as you all know, a dream box is a device that searches for electrical impulses in the brain, stem, and cortex to identify a pattern. Uh, to put it simply, a dream. Which uh, then allows it to see when the next pattern will occur. And then it sends its own signal to replace it with a pre-packaged dream. Uh, this process takes about three hours to complete for an average dream box and doesn't always play the entire dream at once, but in installments throughout the sleep cycle. What Dreamy will do is target the thalamus, the part of the brain responsible for the regulation of the consciousness, sleep and alertness. Talk about the numbers. Dreamy will be able to identify and replace dreams 83.4% faster and with a 74.2% higher precision rate. 
We're also running a small test on the Hypnos to determine long-term sustainability. There it is. Good job. It will work perfectly. Just as soon as I fix a small bug. What? It's nothing to worry about. I know exactly where it is and how to handle it. I've demonstrated it right here. Oh, um, right, that's not meant to be that. Uh, uh, I just... <laughs> Miss Dawson, I... Shh. When I became CEO of this company, I had one goal in mind. To be the best dream therapy clinic in the Western Hemisphere which is the equivalent to being the best in the world. Yet today, I find myself wondering if I'm making the right decisions. If I'm hiring the right people for the job. If you'll just let me explain. About the photos, it's this guy, his name's Lou, he works in web development or something. He always messes with me, he knew- that I, don't, I don't care about the pictures, Nathan, okay? You told me that the dream box is ready, and now you're telling me that there's a bug that could jeopardize the entire thing less than a week away from the launch. Do you know how many people are expecting us to deliver on this, you stupid mother- Miss Dawson, it's Jane. Your meeting with marketing is in like 10 minutes. Thank you, Jane. Have you ever wondered how long it would take for 12 piranhas, fully grown, to completely consume the flesh off of a little lamb, let's say? I mean, I, I know they're vicious, but it couldn't be minutes, could it? I... I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting question, of course. <laughs> Fix the bug. Now. <laughs> Jane, let's push the marketing meeting to this afternoon. I have some research I have to do. I need to tell you something. This is very important. What's that? There's a bit of a downside to dream diving versus dreaming. Uh, while I'm inside trying to help you get rid of your monster, there is a possibility that I might get physically hurt, okay? Now, I really, really want you to keep that in mind. Are you listening to me? I just remembered something. I keep seeing this old, old man in the nightmare. He just watches me from far away. Hmm. Probably part of your nightmare. Hopefully he'll go away once we get rid of the monster itself. Okay, let's start before I change my mind about this. Right through there. See you in your dream. It still sounds creepy every time I say it. Aruna, how are we doing? We just installed a new update. Doing system checkup now. Nice, 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 nice. How's our patient doing? Almost ready. Natasha's prepping her now. the neocortex. It's where your imagination comes from, amongst other things. It's pretty big. Good for you. Now, could you imagine my entire body not hurting anymore? I would really appreciate that. Wait. Am I supposed to be aware of everything? Yes. You're lucid dreaming right now, but that's because we're making you. You see? The more aware I am, the better the chances that whatever you do in here has an impact on my psyche when I wake up. Yeah, yeah, that's spot on, actually. When you told me about your monster problem, I didn't think it would look like that. That slimy thing probably manifested from a B-rated horror movie you watched as a kid. The best way to get rid of it is to just find that memory and convince yourself that it's not real. I've never seen a scary movie. Not my thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I find that hard to believe considering I'm standing here covered in monster puke. Maybe as a kid, but I don't remember. There's this thing called semantic memory, okay?
okay? All of the information that you've gathered up to this point in your life is stored somewhere in your brain. All you have to do is just focus and navigate yourself to it. Okay, okay. Let me try it. Sophia. Did you hear that? Hear what? How did you not hear that? It's coming from over... here. Stop what? You're that old guy. Wow. Rude. What is this place? Well, it's just one of those liminal spaces that I use to evaluate future potential. So you brought me here. Me? Oh, no, 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 no. I merely knocked on the door. You're the one who opened it. since the drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten really bad. That's it, was to play. Let's continue with your evaluation. This is from the old one. There we are, Sophia Russo, age 25, having trouble sleeping. Oh, that must be the monster. Yes, yes, I must apologize for that. Absolutely not my best work. I was trying to recreate a critter, you know, from the movie, you know, Critters. That film terrorized you as a child, but you probably don't recall. It is a repressed memory. Who are you? We'll get to that later. Right now, let's focus on you. Let's talk about something fun, shall we? Remember the first time you went to the top of the tower? Yeah, you used to dream a lot about that. Well, I'd offer to take you up there myself, but now it's like $150 admission. You can thank Dream Tourism for that. Wait, how do you- Hey, can you hold your breath real quick? <gasps> You know, you really liked swimming in school. You know, until one day that Becky Davis... Ugh, what a B-word. Tried to drown you after class. Stop it! It really put a dent in your confidence. That's why you can't swim, by the way. Take me back! Take me back! Okie dokie. actually going insane. Actually, you're far from insane, which makes you the perfect candidate. Candidate for what? Why, for the apprenticeship, of course. To become a dream walker. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah. Pretty sure I'm insane. Now, why would you say that? Because that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Put me back in my body. I'll kick you in the balls. Oh, vicious, I love it! What did you do with Michael? Oh, right, I forgot. Michael, I'm right here. He can't hear you, or see you. You're in the physical realm, but not really part of it. It's like that movie, uh, Christmas Carol. And what are you supposed to be? The spirit of Christmas? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was thinking... death. 
possible in this place. It's not quite dream, it's not quite reality. I call it the between. Another dumb name? Are you coming up with them on the spot? It's not dumb. Ugh. Okay, look, I apologize in advance. I don't want to do this, but apparently this is the only way some people are going to take me seriously. Stop! Okay. Okay, I'll stop. I'll let him go. I promise. But first, you have to see. See what? The truth, Sophia. You need to see the truth. And the only way to do that is to do the job. What the hell are you talking about? I can guide you to your true potential. But first, you have to see. You let me go, and I'll see what I can do about letting you keep half of your teeth. Will you do the job? Will you do the job, Sophia? Michael! What's your answer? Fine, I'll do it. Whatever the hell you want me to do, I'll do it. Just let us go. Just so you know, I can do this anytime I want. So if you ever decide to change your mind or not do it, you can say goodbye to ever sleeping again. I'll be seeing you. Oh, by the way, I'm going to erase most of your memories of this encounter, but here's something you should definitely remember. You love fruitcake. I mean, you adore fruitcake. You are, like, obsessed with it. I hate fruitcake. Not anymore. You evil son <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. I see the problem now. It seems like the new update we installed had a bug in it. That is most likely why the patient disappeared and Michael received a dose of non-consensual choking. At least we all know who to blame for that. I was working on fixing it. I, I forgot. To... Funny. It seems like you're forgetting a lot of things lately. Oh, shit. I'll take care of it. I forgot our anniversary. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go help out, too. All right. Well, another day, another refund. Well, maybe if we had better equipment that didn't glitch out on us. Maybe if you took on more clients, we would have more money to pay for it. Good news is, I've already lined some up for you. Let's put on a big old smile, because you will be dealing with them pretty soon. I'd rather kill myself. Hmm. On your own time. Hey. Hey. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm okay. It's just my mind is a little fuzzy. Did we get rid of my monster? I sure hope so. Do you remember anything else? I remember trying to focus like you told me to, and then nothing. We experienced a tiny little glitch. Sorry. We're not up to date with the latest software, unfortunately. You, um, you disappeared for a little while, and I heard you calling out my name, but I couldn't see you. That's probably the glitch, right? Yeah, probably. Sophia, it was a pleasure meeting you. This one's on the house, don't worry. Please visit us again if you're still experiencing trouble sleeping, but I hope that we've worked everything out. I have to go see other patients now. Thanks for your help. Anytime.
Hey, do you know I can get some fruitcake around here? I'm really craving it for some reason. Did you say fruitcake? Yeah. There's a place nearby. Great. Sophia Rousseau. How would you like a job? <laughs>